Hello everyone, my name is Antoine and welcome to another video on the channel. And uh, in today's video, we have this uh, iPhone uh, 6S. It came from another repair shop that has an activation problem. Uh, I'm going to show you what is there, of course. And uh, obviously I've tried with uh, three tools, it gave me the same error. And uh, of course the history of this device is that they uh, tried to upgrade the storage from 32 to 64 gigabytes and the phone had an old iOS. So as you can see, this is the error that I have. And uh, so they changed it and restored the device and then it got stuck on the activation uh, activation screen. And uh, that's, uh, that's a problem because you cannot uh, go afterward to the home screen. Of course, the device does not have an iCloud. Uh, so uh, let me just go and show you that also there is a modem firmer. This is the serial number. There is a modem firmer. I'm going to put a uh, SIM card. I uh, guess I have a little problem over here. Let me just go and see. We have the antenna. But the device does not see the SIM card. Okay, let me just go check it out. Okay, let me just fix this. But uh, let's focus on the problem that we have, with the, which is the activation problem. Uh, after a lot of searches and diagnostics, turns out there is a problem with the serial number and the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth MAC address. And uh, I read a post um, on Facebook about this problem. Uh, now, of course, shout out to Alexandru Adams and Azak Estrada. I don't know if I pronounced uh, your nickname correct. If yes, cool. If not, sorry for that. Uh, for this one, they uh, they found out this method. And of course, now I'm first I'm going to show you the condition of the board and the microscope. And then we'll be talking more about this new method in the video. And we are going to, of course, uh, fix the activation problem. So uh, let's go. Okay, as you can see, this is the board under the microscope. They already tried to um, do a lot of heating stuff, as always. They removed all the shields on the processor, on the modem. Let's go into the downside, as you can see, a lot of heating, a lot of flux. And also I would like to mention that in this one you need your Mac uh, to jailbreak your device because we are going to need the jailbreak to bypass the activation screen and from there we are going to continue. Uh, but don't worry, after we know the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi Mac addresses, we are not going to uh, leave the device jailbroken. So as you can see, they remove the Wi-Fi and the EEPROM and I also try to revolve them, but still, the problem was a software thing and it was with the system configuration on the NAND. So uh, now we are going to jump to my Mac and we are going to um, start uh, the process. Okay, here we are on our Mac. We're going to use today the check rain to jailbreak the device. Of course, you have to go and uh, check the allow untrusted iOS or untested iOS iPad OS or tvOS versions because we have the latest iOS 14.4. Of course, in the future, it will be available for all uh, iOS devices from A7 to A11, I guess, uh, for CheckRain. And we're going to use also the Check M8 which, uh, to uh, bypass the activation screen. And also, there's a lot of uh, programs that does this process automatically. But of course, uh, you must have your device broken using CheckRain. But if you'd like to know how to do it manually, this uh, video is for you. but still we didn't change the serial number and now we are going to install Cydia and go and install Filza to continue our work. Okay, now we are going to install Cydia and Filza. For those who doesn't know what is Filza is, it is the file manager for uh, the iPhone. Of course before it was iFile and now Filza. 
I'm going to speed forward all the process. And uh, I'd just like to mention that, um, or I would like to share something that I think that was going on. Um, so even if you have your Bluetooth and Wi-Fi address wrong and you have abandoned the Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi will still work, but you cannot activate the device. You, can, you only need uh, three stuff in order to activate the device. That's why when you want to get a lost information, a system configuration from a Chinese guy using IME or serial number, he only gives you, uh, gives you a, uh, those three. And uh, also, by the way, it is a very good solution. It will save a lot of money, especially those guys takes almost a lot of time and between 20 to 40 bucks for one serial number. Of course, it will save you a lot of money. So, when installed Felza, I forgot to mention that I soldered another NAND 32GB from another, from another iPhone 6S. Uh, you can solder any other NAND on the device, but it's better to be from the same device. Like if you have an iPhone 6S, it's better to take a NAND from an iPhone 6S and from 7 because they are the same. And it's the same story for the iPhone uh, 8 to X series. And I'll talk why in a second. So, go to slash and go to var, hardware, factory data, system, library, caches. So, as you can see, those are the files that stored in every device when you try to restore your Apple device. From those files, Apple can now can know uh, in their servers in their servers if uh, you if they matched on your device what are on their servers so you can activate your phone. Those are very important and your device will always have the original ones because when you restore your iPhone in the verifying process, Apple will put the original files and then if, uh, the, system, if the system configuration are matched, then the device will activate without no problems. So now I'm going to show you how to read those and how to extract the serial number uh, and Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So you have to search in uh, those files uh, as RNM, which is for the serial number, uh, serial number, W Mac Wi-Fi B Mac Bluetooth. Now I'm just going to show you that they are not matched in settings right now, so you have to take them and write them on your NAND. Uh, you can use the purple mode to do it, and then restore the device, or restore it first and then write the system configuration. And now uh, I took my uh, system configuration and I'm going to restore the device and write them on my NAND. I will catch you on the activation. So we restore the device and we write the new system configuration on the NAND. I'm going to now speed forward the activation process and I'll catch you on the home screen. So as you can see, the device has been activated and the activation problem was been solved. The Wi-Fi is working, the Bluetooth also is working. I'm just not connected the antenna Wi-Fi on it. And uh, let me just go to uh, general settings and I'm going to show you that I wrote the new serial number and the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth MAC addresses. So there is, uh, this is a very cool method. If you have a dead NAND and you don't know the information on it, just put another NAND and uh, read the, the files in the uh, system files. So I guess uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If the video was helpful, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for additional content in the future. And as always, stay safe and have a good day. And I will catch you guys in another repair video. Peace out.